All right, guys, got a quick one for you today. How to make any animation smoother using this one simple trick. And people in the biz are gonna hate me for sharing this with you, but I love you, so I'm gonna share it with you for free, all right? So I got a simple ball bounce animation right here, okay? This is what it looks like. And so let me just go ahead and let me just take off all of the uh, easing on this so we can start over uh, from scratch. So I'm gonna go to the keyframe interpolation, click on linear, that gets rid of all the easing. And so I separated my dimensions here by on the clicking on the position, right clicking and click separate dimensions. That gives us X and Y separately. This will just make it a little bit easier to um, look at just one dimension on the graph editor. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So we have a ball bounce, it goes down and then it bounces back up, right? And then it comes down and then it comes like halfway up and then it comes back down and then it comes like halfway back up again and then down and then a little bit up, okay, and then back down. That's a basic ball bounce. Then on every up keyframe, right? So right here, we're just gonna grab each one of these ups like this and let's just go ahead and just add a little bit of easy ease to that by clicking F9 on those keyframes, boom. So this is what the ball bounce animation looks like now, right? Okay, I mean, it's it's getting there, but it's, it's not really that good. So what I wanna do is I wanna open up the graph editor here by clicking this button like this, boom, all right? And there's two different type of graphs we can look at. If you click this button here, we have the value graph and we also have the speed graph. So this technique can work with either type of graph. You don't even have to know what the graphs mean, okay? Nobody knows what the graphs mean, okay? You just play around in them. So what we want for this technique is we wanna smooth out the graph in a way so that a snowboarder could safely travel down this kind of graph, okay? And so we're gonna go to whichever graph um, seems like it would be safer for a snowboarder to travel down and then start there and then smooth it out even more. So I think that this graph doesn't really look like this is a great place to do that. So I'm gonna switch back over to the value graph here and this is where we'll start, okay? So in this case, like let's picture that this is the kind of uh, chair lift up here and then he's the snowboarder is gonna start down here, okay? So these kind of um, valleys here, if you will, they're looking a little bit sharp. Our snowboarder is gonna get stuck in here. So let's go ahead and smooth these out. And I have them all selected. That's why they're all getting, um, if you see, they're all getting pulled out together. So let me just n not select them all, select one at a time, okay? And we'll go ahead and just pull this out and make it a much smoother experience for our snowboarder, okay? So we'll go ahead and just pull each one of these out like this, all right? And just go ahead and smooth this out like this, all right? So now what's gonna happen is our snowboard is gonna go up the lift and then snowboard all of this, hit this little jump, all right, until he uh, hits the end of the slope, hits the, the lodge right here. And now, if we watch our animation back, it's gonna look like this. It's much smoother and more dynamic and just looks all around better, okay? This is called the snowboard technique. And so I know you're thinking, surely this technique, it can't work for everything, right? Such a, such a basic, vague technique. Well, I'm gonna show you you're wrong, okay? It does. So we have this, uh, right, this gliding ball, this ball that glides across the screen, right? A couple keyframes. So I'm gonna make this all uh, linear again, right? Grab all these, turn them linear. So you have a keyframe off the screen, one on, one off, one here, one off, okay? So this looks like this, boom, boom, boom. Now if I grab all these and I go to open up the graph editor, this is the value graph here, right? And so um, for our snowboard, snowboarder to safely traverse down this, you know, I guess this would be the right side um, coming down to the left. You know, this one seems pretty pretty obvious, right? Just smooth this part out. So let's make this a little bit harder. Open up the speed graph here. 
So how would we make something like this safe for our snowboarder? Well, first what we want to do is, you know, grab this part, pull this down, okay? So, and kind of grab this bezier handle and smooth this out, right? So now we have a sort of ramp coming down for the snowboarder to kind of speed into this. And I know you're thinking like, whoa, this doesn't look safe, right? Well, the snowboarder is a professional, okay? Obviously, they can handle this, okay? And you wanna look out for, um, you know, if you, if you really zoom in here, like make sure this is just like a really smooth, smooth landing, okay? No little rocks and ridges. Okay, so now this um, is gonna speed in here and slow down, okay? And then, what you really want to avoid too is any kind of walls like this, okay? Walls are really dangerous for any kind of extreme sports athletes, okay? You don't want them to hit into a wall. And, you know, along the same vein, walls are dangerous for animation, okay? This is a big jump up in speed. It's going to make your animation just kind of like glitch up, okay? So we want to grab this, bring this part down, and then change the curve so that it's going to match the um, this line here so that it's going to ramp up like this. And so now what will happen is we're gonna have a speed in and slow down and then it's going to ramp back up in speed and we'll have this nice kind of looping glide animation like this, it looks really good, okay? So let's try another example too. Keep this uh, snowboard train going. So in this case, this is what I want to achieve, okay? So we have this um, ball that appears in, it scales up, rotates, scales back down, the rotate matches the scale, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take all the easing off this, right? So this, these are our keyframes. It's going to scale up and overshoot, scale down, kind of undershoot, is that a word? Undershoot, I think it's still technically overshooting. Overshoot, undershoot, and then settle into place, right? This is it, boom, boom, boom. Now, I probably wanna work on these one at a time, so grab just the scale here, and then this is basically it, right? I think this is probably pretty obvious here, looking at this, you know, in the value graph, what this wants to look like. So. We could go ahead and just add some easy ease to this, right? And give us give ourselves a head start. And in this case, what's most likely gonna happen is our snowboarder is coming in from off screen, like down, down a hill, so they have a head start, right? Because they can't just uh, get up this hill coming in real fast like that. So we'll go ahead and just kind of make these curves a little bit smoother like this. Make this nice downhill curve give them a little bit of speed here and then this ending one here wherever there's like a dotted line like this this is where it ends right this is probably like the lodge so we need that to give them like a slow kind of um they need to slow down whenever there's a lodge like this right you can't come into the if you've ever been skiing or snowboarding you can't you can't come in full speed to the lodge you need to slow down before you get there so we'll do something like this, where it's gonna um, come in real fast and then slow down. So this is what the scale is gonna look like, boom, 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 right? And then we need the rotation to match. So when you have an animation like this, you want the, whatever animation um, property, in this case the rotation, if it's happening on the same keyframes, boom, 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 as like this scale here, you want the easings most likely to be the same. So in this case, I could go in here and I could edit this, um, the graph here, but what's really nice is this um, little plugin called Ease Copy. It's name your own price on AE scripts. I'll put a link in the description. So, which means that if you'd like to, you can download it for free or you can um, put in a couple dollars for the developers. And so what you can do with this is you can copy these easings that we just did, click copy, and then you can paste these ease values on the rotation. It'll paste the exact same easings that we just did on there, and then you'll have really nice cohesion together, okay, like this for our skier snowboarder like that. Now we have a really nice smooth animation, okay? 
So that's really it. This is the uh, snowboard technique that you can use on really any animation to make it smoother. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments if you are going to use the snowboard technique on a future video. If you think this is a good one, uh, let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.